Hi, it's Ed Butowski, and today's February 20th. Just wanted to bring your attention to two articles that I thought really underscored what I've been saying for the better part of two years, and that is that earnings growth are not necessarily coming in, meaning the robust earnings that are needed to support the lofty valuations just aren't coming in uh, to support it, which makes stocks overvalued. Uh, and again, stocks can be overvalued for a long time, and you know our clients are doing very well. Um, but at the same time, we're starting even stronger to move into other types of investments than what um, you know the traditional stock portfolio looks like. So look at this for a moment. If you were to take the top five tech companies. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and Alphabet. And Alphabet, for some of you who don't know, is Google. Uh, they broke it up into two different companies. They represent all the earnings growth per share over the last uh, 12 months. It, it turns out to be about 18% earnings growth of the S&P 500 comes directly from them. Now, what about the other companies? What about the other industries? right here okay here it's a 16 percent um but about 16 18 percent earnings per share growth depending on the time period and this is from goldman sachs the rest of the companies the s p 500 if you were to take all the other companies 495 other companies and put into um looking at the valuation you're only seeing a two percent growth in earnings so i've said if you remember for quite some time the slowdown around the world is going to affect the United States. And the smaller companies, and this is what should really capture your attention, the smaller companies, which are represented by the Russell 2000 index, that only represents about 8% of the companies uh, that are trading, but there's 2,000 of them. That means company 1,001 all the way to 3,000 had negative 7% earnings growth. Let me show you one other slide here. Hold on a second. And brings us to this uh, Seeking Alpha is a phenomenal uh, website with really smart people uh, that write, you know, I just, you know, brilliant pieces. And again, I'm just showing to support what I've been saying and it's been playing out really well. Earnings aren't bad, but they're not good enough to support the current valuations. We're about 22% overvalued. That's the overall stock market based on expected earnings. That is not something you want to be buying and deploying new money into. Be very careful in this market. Now, I'm attaching both of these articles. Um, just little things that I see that capture my attention that I think is important. And then uh, one other thing here, this Coronas. Uh, virus. The, uh, every news station is talking about it when it comes to the market and the possibility of you know contagion uh, that will spread throughout the world. Uh, I certainly have you know no knowledge about that contagion. But at this moment, this is not a major economic event of any kind. Uh, so don't make any moves based on the coronavirus. Make moves based on earnings valuations and that right now, Generally speaking, stocks are 22% overvalued. So either earnings have to come in really strong, which they're not, or the price of what you own might go lower. Take care. Give me a call anytime, 972-865-2223. Thanks.